Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas Hancock and I give plant advice. I live in South Africa and I do this for a hobby. So today we're going to be propagating some ZZ plants, one of the easiest indoor plants to take care of and they are excellent for beginners. So they're very easy to propagate and it takes no effort whatsoever. So firstly what you're going to need, so you're going to need your scissors and you want to sanitize them with any isopropyl alcohol or hand sanitizer or anything that will get all the bacteria off them. Then you're going to want to need your pest free ZZ plant. My ZZ plant needs some water at the moment and it's actually starting to yellow um, which is unfortunate but I'm taking cuttings of this plant because it was very root bound and I've got to water it and most of the roots died off but they do have tubers so these plants have tubers which actually um, help store the water so they can go quite a long time without watering but that doesn't mean you shouldn't water them. So today we're going to just propagate this plant. I have some propagations and I'm going to show you how to do it so that you are successful with doing it. So firstly what you're going to want to do is you want to go and find a healthy piece of this plant. So it's very easy so I'm going to take this piece over here. Sometimes you actually don't need to take your use your scissors at all um, but for this I'm going to try firstly without the scissors and then I'm going if it doesn't work and it all else fails I'm going to use the scissors. So what you can do is you can go to the base over here let me just take this little piece out of the way here. You can go to the base and you can slowly but surely jiggle it around. This is just going to loosen it up and start twisting it. So this is just to break it off the bulb very easily. Um, and you want to break it off the bulb, you don't want to break the bulb with it. So I'm seeing that I'm not going to be successful here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to go to the base. I'm going to go as close as possible to the base and I'm going to just snip it right off as such. So I've gone and I've snipped it off, very clean cut. And I prefer to actually make it a straight cut like that. So you hear these people that are saying, you know, make a 45 degree angle, but preferably I like to do it this way. Um, they do grow quite slowly. They are fast growing plants once they've got established, but from cuttings, they'll take a while to start to actually grow roots. So don't get um, discouraged if it doesn't make roots in the next couple of weeks or months. It will take its time. I have a propagation here that has taken about, uh, about a couple of months to grow and it does have a whole lot of algae on the roots but you can see that it's actually started to grow roots over here so and you can see the bulb that started to form over here so this is taking quite a while to actually start to grow but now that it's growing i'm super 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 excited so you can see the size of it it's not too big you don't want to take a too big of one um take an ordinary sized one and you what you want to do is you want to place it in some clean water so I'm just going to go and clean, get some clean water quickly and see you now. So I've got my little jar of water here and I'm just going to place it in. So you can let this callus, but you, it's not necessary. Um, I'm not going to let it callus because I'm impatient and I will forget about it. So I'm just going to place it in some clean water over here and I'm going to place it in a well lit position that gets some, maybe some morning sun and within a couple of weeks, you'll start to see it developing roots. Don't get discouraged if it doesn't produce roots very, very quickly. It will take its time, but once it gets going, it will get grow quite quickly. So I'll do a video on how to actually take that plant and plant it in the soil because that plant's ready to be planted in soil. And I'll give you a guide on how to transfer them from soil, from water to soil. So. That's it for today's video. Remember, don't get discouraged if they don't produce roots very quickly, but have an amazing day. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you have any questions, just put them down in the comment box below and I'll answer them. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.